Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I will explain about the computer hardware. After watching the complete video you will know the different hardware parts of the computer system and their functions. So let me start with the definition of computer hardware. Computer hardware is all the physical parts of the computer system that we can see, touch and feel. It is the physical component of the computer system that makes the complete computer system. For example, the keyboard and mouse, similarly the monitor, printer, CPU, motherboard that is inside the CPU case, RAM, hard disk and so on. These are some of the examples of computer hardware. Computer hardware is further categorized into two types that is internal hardware and external hardware. So internal hardware are those hardware parts of the computer system that is inside the CPU case or that we directly cannot see. For example the microprocessor, motherboard, RAM, graphics card, sound card, modem and so on. Similarly the external hardware are those physical parts of the computer system that we can see directly from the outside uh, for example the keyboard, mouse, monitor, printer, scanner, speaker and so on. So I'll explain these two uh, types of computer hardware. First of all let's see the internal hardware parts of the computer system. First of all let me tell you about the microprocessor microprocessor or the CPU is an important internal hardware processing device of the computer system that process each and every instructions of the programs and the softwares. It performs the basic arithmetical and logical calculations and has the responsibility of controlling and managing each and every activities of the computer system that is why the CPU is also called the brain of the computer system. Another important internal hardware of the computer is the motherboard. Actually, motherboard is the main circuit board inside the computer that connects different parts of the computer together. Motherboard is the main internal hardware of the computer system where other important parts like the microprocessor, RAM, hard disk and other chips are connected or attached to the motherboard. So it is one of the important internal hardware of the computer system where other important parts like the RAM, hard disk, uh, microprocessor are attached to this motherboard. And the next important hardware of the computer is the RAM which is the random access memory it is the internal memory of the computer system that is also called the main memory actually it provides the applications a place to store its data as well as access the data that is required for running the applications and ram is also attached with the motherboard along with the other important parts like the microprocessor and other important parts of the computer Another important internal hardware of the computer is the sound card which is attached to motherboard. Actually sound card is one of the important internal hardware that helps our computer to convert the digital code into sound. It is also known as the audio card that produces audio that we can hear with the help of the speaker or the headphones. Another important device is the modem which is the modulator and demodulator. Actually a modem is the communication device of the computer that converts analog signal into digital as well as digital signal into analog. It is also attached to motherboard that allows us to send and receive the information over the telephone line. Another important device is the graphics card. It is the graphics processing unit also called the graphics card or video card. It is one of the specialized electronic circuit that accelerates the creation and rendering of images. 
it means graphics card allows us to create and view the images and the pictures without graphics card we cannot see the pictures or images in our computer system so it is one of the important internal hardware which is also attached to our motherboard and the next one is the NIC card which is the network interface card also known as the ethernet card or network adapter it is very important internal hardware of our computer system that helps to connect to our network it is the most essential device for establishing the communication between computers it is responsible for preparing the data to be sent over the internet it allows us in the networking of the computer system without NIC card we cannot use internet so it is one of the important internal hardware that is attached to the motherboard now I will tell you about the external hardware of our computer keyboard is one of the important external hardware of our computer system that helps to enter data and instructions into the computer system as it is one of the input device helps to input the letters numbers as well as instructions to our computer system it also allows us to prepare the documents and do similar type of activities that is related to the typing text or entering data and instructions so it is one of the important external hardware of our computer system as well as the input device that allows us to enter data and instructions similarly the next one is the mouse mouse is also another important hardware of our computer system that is attached to the desktop computer it is a small pointing device that helps to give instructions to our computer by selecting menus uh, clicking on icons files and folders on the computer screens so we can uh, use the mouse to give instructions to our computer system and it is a handheld device that is one of the important hardware that allows us to give instructions to our computer system monitor is another important hardware of our computer system actually a monitor is an electronic visual computer display that includes a screen circuitry and the case in which that circuitry is enclosed the monitor is the output device that gives us output or displays the information of the processing we can see the output on the monitor screen uh, in the form of text uh, pictures videos and so on so it is the important part of the computer system that displays the result of processing printer is another important hardware of our computer system that helps to gives us the output on the paper the printer is an external hardware device that prints the output data on the paper and it is used to print the stored data or images that is in our computer system so it is the hard copy output device as well as the important hardware part of our computer system similarly another important part of the computer is the scanner scanner is also one of the important hardware part uh, which is used to input the pictures and convert them into the digital form it allows us to scan the documents images drawings and convert it into the digital form which can be later edited according to our requirement and the next one is the speaker it is also the hardware part of our computer system that gives us the audio output computer speaker is an external hardware device that generates the sound it is connected to the sound card that receives the audio signals actually these speakers are built in in laptop computer however it needs to be attached to the cpu in case of desktop computers now finally let me tell you about the projector it is also one of the output device or the hardware part of our computer system that is used to display the content of the computer screen in the large form so it magnifies the objects on the large screen and display the information of the monitor to a big screen so we can show the audience whatever the output is in our computer screen so this was for now now if you want to know more about the parts of computer you can click on the left video and if you want to know the different input and output devices 
you can click on the right video so see you in the next video